Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Total Maintenance YouTube channel. Today I've got a treat for you. Look at that cutie. 2007 FJ Cruiser. Look how adorable it is from the front. Absolute retro truck. Toyota did absolutely great job with styling this truck. I love it. And I don't get very many in my shop, so this is excellent opportunity that I already did inspection and few little services and I still have time to do a filming for you. As many of you know, they came sometimes with the roof racks. This one is simple, super simple, and I love that simplicity. Actually, it doesn't have that busy roof. And, in my opinion, this looks absolutely perfect. I absolutely dig this color combination, the way it looks. It is super cute. And not only that, on the test drive, it was absolute pleasure to drive. So let's go and grab everything, open everything, play with it. Beautiful handle, perfectly fits in the hand. Not something narrow, but nice, huge. The mirrors, right, that special design, absolutely unusual. Obviously, the crazy three windshield viper combination. Hopefully you can see it. I will never forget it when I saw it first time at the dealer and they asked me to replace that. <laughs> it was a trip. So let's go and open everything as i said instead of jumping in the interior immediately let's open everything so this is a suicide door and this is a handle which i will show you in just a second just pull on it and it has two stages it will stop here but it also goes further so if you want to really put anything in are you entering in the back or putting something in the back very easy to do however if you don't want to do that it opens also just less so you can see that seat belt you saw the seats absolutely fun here little note toyota wanted you to use premium 91 i saw the sticker the owner showed me the owner of the vehicle and then I confirm it in the owner's manual which is inside of the vehicle it's true they said 91 premium 91 for this 2007 FJ Cruiser here is the hand lander so look at it this actually it's a special strut shock it pushed the door open, it helped me, and now it's locked. So in the case you have a vent hitting it from outside, this is locked. And if you want to close it, you have to unlock it. So trunk is pretty okay. It's definitely, this was definitely an AS oriented to the people who like adventures, like to go in the nature and so on. This looks like a huge subwoofer. You can fold the seats, obviously, they are split. And as I said, if I want to close it right now, I have to pull on this and push to unlock it. Pull is to lock it, push, unlock it. Anyway, little detail. Did you hear that? If you didn't have this rattling, it has a nice action of closing. Here is that spare tire hanging on the back. Absolutely awesome. Here we are, the same, this ginormous handle. The door is pretty light. It's not heavy at all. It's very long. And again, the handle and two stages full and a slight opening. So I thing even the color of the interior even the fact it's a cloth so it will be non-sweaty the leather seats are gorgeous but unless it's a s-class mercedes-benz 
with the heated and ventilated and perforated seats. The seats, for example, in the Highlander, the leather Highlander, uh, they are too hot, you will sweat on them. So I love this cloth. This is fantastic. It has a glove box also here. The same thing. Nice big speakers. The stereo. I heard it when I started. Uh, the test drive. And I turned it off immediately. But it had a pretty cool sound. So again. Nice action of the door. I like that the way it closes. Here are these three windshield wipers. This is like a little clown show. I think it's funny. One of them should be replaced. So super cute. Super cute, beautiful, gorgeous vehicle. Look at that. It's just these eyes. These eyes and that kind of smile it has. Let's go and hop in. So 194,000 miles on the odometer. And this is still not collapsed, the foam is there, it has a little rip, but it's still nice and it works pretty good. Manual adjustments, nothing electric, the simple stuff on the door, the volume of the lighting for the, all the interior, mirrors, clutch, start, cancel, because it is manual and my friend what manual it is i started detail inspection today with a test drive i always do and my friend the transmission and the clutch absolutely unbelievable absolutely lovely absolutely perfect feeling i'm from europe i driven only stick shifts until basically I came to USA. I'm really familiar with the stick shifts and I driven so many. You can trust me. And this one guys, this six speed manual transmission with that clutch. It's absolute pleasure to drive. As I got older and lazier and sloppier, I prefer automatic. I don't want to be wiggling this ding dong jing jongs there and there anytime I want to drive. But this on the test drive was absolute pleasure. It was a very, very pleasant experience. Very smooth, the shifting, the it's not too long, it's not too short, it really nicely goes. One of the best I ever driven. What shall I compare it to? Maybe to the TDIs, the ALH TDI that era around 2000. These Golf Jettas, it was such a great transmission also and clutch to shift. Super easy. Sometimes in Tacomas, the clutch is difficult and the shifter, the way it's set up, I don't really enjoy it. This is the quite opposite. Trust me, it was a breeze and super easy to use it. I got a key right here. There is some another compartment. It's pretty funny. I showed you this. It's a compass. What is it? Gyro? How we call that? Yep. Oh, that's funny. So here in the building, this is how it looks. This is how it works. Now I put the lighting on. I totally dig it. This is incredible toy, guys. I will always get myself one of these. Not as a primary vehicle. I rather drive a pickup. It's more practical. But this is absolutely fun. It's fantastic. I love it. 194,401 miles. Absolutely awesome. Yeah. 
there is still some squeak from the belt one of the pulleys is making noise we will be dealing with it next time the owner brings this vehicle I absolutely love this now this is rare because it's a one owner vehicle the person who owns it right now bought it brand new in a 2006 as a 2007 model and he basically shared with me today i met him first time he shared with me the only thing he doesn't like about it that the gas mileage is not good ask him what he's estimating he says approximately 16 miles per gallon bottom line these vehicles are extremely popular and therefore the prices keep being high I never saw reasonably priced FJ Cruiser for sale in California where I live ever before. Maybe it will happen one day, maybe not, doesn't matter. The bottom line, extremely great vehicle, this mileage, doesn't matter if you take care of it, it's running perfectly, even with certain abuse. It's extremely cute, good looking vehicle. As a four-wheel drive, it will be perfectly capable for any adventures on the weekends or through the week, whatever you are doing. The vehicle which you see, I will buy from this owner without thinking for one second if he was selling it for a reasonable price. Yes, gas mileage is not the greatest, but as a toy, as a little hot rod, it's absolutely gorgeous it's very sweet it has a character and it's extremely easy to drive once again don't get me wrong but in comparison with Tacoma's manuals from these years this for some reason the combo clutch and the tranny it's way easier to operate and it was super smooth on the road I really hope you will enjoy this video it will be interesting to you if you will please give it thumb up and stay tuned I have way more coming your way soon thank you for watching and have a wonderful day my friend